Welcome back, guys. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. We are talking about hawking in the CBD. And on to our next question. Do you think allowing uh, hawkers in the CBD to operate results in insecurities? Let me know what you think. Of course, yes. They're supposed to make a place where they're supposed to be working daily, not everywhere in the town. Operating, they can they can just be allowed to operate, but they should, they should there, there should be restrictions, as in there should be charges against po pollution. Yeah. It may or may not because you don't know who is who. You know, some people disguise themselves as hawkers, yet they are not genuine hawkers. There are some other plants, yes. So it depends. With okay, I can say it's it 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 is not. Like hundred percent that all the okas are real okas. Some of them are not okas. Some of them have other plans. As for me, I don't think so. Because Insecurity, okay. Uh, as I said earlier, congestion brought by hawking in the city can bring it can increase uh, maybe theft. Because congestion in congestion, congested places, you find that thieves can get a good chance to maybe pickpocket, you know, yeah, maybe snatching. Yeah, I think uh, it, it is brought by congestion in the city. So I think Hawking can, it can contribute in a way. I, <laughs> I don't know and I don't think so. Unless, unless there is a point or unless it's proven that it is hawkers who who maybe pickpocket other people, but so far I do not really know who the pickpocketers are. But actually, I think I've seen hawkers contribute to pickpocketing. So I think maybe to some extent, yes. But unless we pin it down to, yes, we've seen the statistics, it's always the hawkers who are selling. Yeah, that's when we can pin them down. Well, something just came in my head right now. At times, at times, yes. Okay, it's a yes or no answer. Yes. So, yes, they do. And to some extent, they don't. Because these are just basically young people and people who are families to feed, who are just, who cannot basically, aff who cannot afford a rental stalls to be able to run their business. So these are people, these are business people like any other business person. Okay, I will say... Um, 60% yes, because not all of, all of them can be trusted, because you find some take advantage when you sit at the window, you know, they come, snatch your phone. Others, they're just, you know, there to do business, you know. So we'll say 60% yes. Also not really, because uh, let's say for instance, what one is snatching is him at an border. They're not necessarily hawkers. Maybe to some degree, mtu akiona may buy something from a hawker and a kufuata, but not much. I'll contribute sana to insecurity. Yeah, what one neighbor ni easy to see hawkers. Yeah. Insecurity kuibiwa vitu kama hizo? Uh, no. You know, first of all, hawkers are, are traders. They are businessmen. Uh, the, the difference between hawkers and other businessmen is that yao ni akutembea tao na ku nakuza. So according to me, uh, insecurities kama wizi uh, na hawkers haziendani because wao wako pale purposely uh, kutafuta do na mambo na insecurity na wizi ni mambo zingine ambazo ziko very different na hawking uh, just as the past question I'll say 80% because uh, most of them when you look at the business they actually operate some are genuine, but some you can't understand. Maybe they can get another location, they can go doing, do business there. And then when you follow most of these people, maybe some are engaged in these criminal activities, but some are not. But uh, I think they should just be controlled. If they are controlled, then the issue of insecurity, the issue of overcrowding can be dealt with. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, okay, they are, they are doing their own business. The, it doesn't result to the insecurity in the CBD. Maybe other people can interrupt the the, 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 the things that happen in the CBD that will lead to the security. Somehow, yeah, but see the same idea. See the same, they cause insecurities, cause 
it's not like they come following people. It's only that they are, they are just along the pavements. So when you are interested in whatever they are selling, then you can approach them and purchase things from them. So I don't think it's causing insecurities. Other workers are, some are harassing people at pickpocket, like workers at Kikomba, Unapata, when you confuse, they have their friends there who are pickpocketers. So Unapata, you at a kuindarapti kidogo, ki concentrate nae, someone, and a naeza kubiasimo or another thing. So they contribute much. Once I was streets, I was walking up on the other side of the street. I was walking up on the other side of the street. I was walking up on the other side of the government. I was protection. I was police. I was walking up on city council. I was walking So I was security because security is not me. For instance, I was walking up on the other side of the street. As a lady, as a woman, we come out snatching, it's a delicia. No, no. So, insecurity is here to own a changia. Security in Wena Mimi. No, no. Nikuchungo Nichungi. You can execute the Robla Kinney. It depends on which way. Call Panoctimbo Siku, in dark places where I could pull up a security light. We are in security copal. You do the Fernani Valley. I can go to the light. Who could save? So insecurity depends with yourself, me and you. Ni chunge ni kuchunge. I do feel like allowing hawkers in the CBD is a way of letting insecurity into Kenyans because we do have people who actually disguise themselves as hawkers even though they're not. Uneza patam tu anakuzi anjugu and then later you find yourself in Kilimani. If you know, you know. But then again, I feel like it's the government's responsibility to make sure that we as Kenyans are safe. On to our next question. Do you think hawkers should have specific hours to work in the CBD? I think so. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be given particular time for working and the place to be in CBD. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they should be given specific time. Yeah. According to my opinion, they should be given a spe specific time. Because maybe due to security, their security peer, Panafatu appear to time, spe speculated time to cut out their business. No, no, no specific hours. They should, they should be put in a designated place, not even specific hours. They should have, they should have their places to operate on, not in the CBD, you know. When you talk of designated hours, when you tell them, like, on Sundays you'll be in town, they, 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 they'll be cares in town, you see. So they should be having a designated place that these people from this region operate here, another like that, you get it? I see that, I have five specific hours. When I have a work, 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 yeah. I think I increased my part of the work. I think I limited my work. I think I have a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely, because these are people who are who are feeding for their families. Uh, some people, this this their daily jobs. This is what they depend on for their families to to feed on, to to kulipa rent. You understand? So this is this is something that they should strategize. The government plus the hawkers, but when a specific hours wanna wanna work. You understand? We maybe in Mchana, Musiku. Yeah, wakati city is busy sana. Maybe, and I think the better um, resolution to that would be maybe having points for these hawkers to do their to do their sales instead of them maybe standing on the roadside. If it is possible for the county government to maybe have like a market for them. I think that would be much better because I think they are trying to maybe find something to put on the table and that could be their only means to doing it. So instead of having specific hours to stand by the roadside, if it could be possible to have specific points for them to sell their products, that would be much better.
I feel they should be given specific hours, just like any other normal business. They should be allowed at least to run from morning hours to five, because, I mean, that's their job. Yes, yeah, so it should be treated like any other employment. Yes, it's just that theirs will be self-employed. No, 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 no. No, I will not support that because he knows his time best. So he knows where to open, when to close. So it's upon him. Uh, uh, not really, Kosababu. Kuna ile time uh, wanasemanga uh, bumper to bumper, like ile majioni ni watu wananda home. Yeah, hiyo ndiyo time do yiko. So maybe ukiwapati ati ya subui, paka sanane, ama jioni, paka sijui sambili, it won't work. So they can, they can just hawk at any time, but in an orderly manner. Yeah. Of course I don't agree. Because Mbona uh, Najua Hawkers they are normal citizen and you cannot uh, limit someone to do business at a specific time. But if that time that you have been specified uh, and time and time maybe personally I'm saying that hawkers should be allowed to trade or to do their business the whole day. I any work to the same na other other traders. So me I cannot encourage government to give hawkers the specific time because they are Kenyans and at the end of the day they have to put food on their table. So they're supposed to be allowed as long as they have paid tax and they are they are followed the, the guidelines. They are supposed to be given uh, the full time, the full mandate to do their trading uh, compared to other business. I agree 80% because uh, when they have the hour then the issue of control now will come in because they'll be knowing that from this point to this point, this time frame, we'll be having all here so we should be taking control of them, we should be ensuring their security, there should be cleanliness of the area. So I think they should be controlled. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Uh, that will help at least to, will assist to decongest the CBD at least. Uh, in certain circumstances. Yeah. I agree, especially when it's rush hours. It causes a lot of commotion. Okay, in that rush, at some point. Uh, actually not, because you never know when someone will buy from a hawk. So, they should work every time. Unapata mtu apatiwe freedom, afanya kazi anytime. Because he might, he might find a customer at money, I'm course even. So they should work anytime. Anytime they can sell anytime, they can know anytime. So we don't know when someone needs anything. So any they, they are allowed to want to one of every time, anytime they want to. To my view, I don't think that is right because maybe una kitu na uza na pa yen uza usiku. Na mchana uwezi uza. No, no. Kwa mfano, kwa mchana uza kitu kama chakula. Na pa yuza usiku na mcha. Kuna kitu pia uza uza mchana na pa uza usiku. Kitu kama hindi uza nani usiku. No, no. So kuna kitu na pa uza mchana na pa uza usiku. So time time factor doesn't matter. So on my opinion, I do feel like designated hours can work, but it's better if they are designated places where they can work from morning to evening, avoiding chaos. So we have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Do not forget to engage with us on our social media platforms at Y254. And do not forget to follow me, your host, SK Gitonga. Till next time. Bye.